Hello everyone, welcome to another Anthem live stream. Today we have a lot of very special guests, people who require no introduction, but we'll do some introductions because that's what we do. Uh, first of all, for our amazing friends in Edmonton, will you guys say hello to the stream and introduce yourselves? Yeah, hello, I'm Mark Dara. I'm the executive producer for Anthem. Uh, what up everyone, my name is Mark Dara and I'm also um, actually, my name is Mike Campbell, and I'm a lead producer for Anthem. <laughs> you guys missed the uh, ridiculous jokes that were going on before here, so we're in a little bit of a silly mood, but uh, we love it. And of course, for the second time, two yeah, weeks in a row, I don't, yeah. uh, we have Chad. Yeah, I'm Chad Robertson, I'm the head of live service for Bioware. Oh, and I am Ben Irving, I'm one of the lead producers for Anthem. Uh, so, agenda for our stream today, uh, we're going to just talk a little bit about early access. So. Uh, we went live with Early Access last week. We have Worldwide Launch coming up here uh, just around the corner, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, we're going to play some free play in the background just to have some gameplay going on. Ch Chad's um, going to play. Chad's playing. Ch both. Okay, so Chad's going to play, play again. With everyone on the stream. Chad is playing. You're seeing Chad's camera. I'm supporting Chad with my Colossus behind him. Um, so Chad is going to be the hero of the day. Uh, <laughs> looking forward to seeing. Because last time the comment was, well, I'd be amazing if I was playing the Ranger. So now we have the Ranger for Chad today. So that's I, just, I just quietly handed the controller off to somebody on the side of this. <laughs> yeah, we, we have our amazing QA people playing right now. Um, so we're going to talk a bit about uh, early access uh, going into worldwide launch. Um, uh, we have a bunch of questions that the community submitted, so we'll go through some of them. And then we have a, a few things we're going to talk about about uh, what's coming next. So over the next couple of weeks uh, and beyond, give a little bit of insight there. Um, so uh, first and foremost, let's talk a little bit about early access. So kind of open the floor up to, uh, I guess we'll start with, with Edmonton folks. So Mark and Mike, like, um, do you have thoughts to share about early access, the, the, the things that went great and, and some things we, we've kind of fixed uh, for worldwide launch? Yeah, I mean, Worldwide Launch is coming up on uh, the 22nd, so um, we've got learned a lot of things from uh, from some of the early access builds. Uh, it's given us an opportunity to uh, uh, get a lot of feedback from the community. Uh, but you know, I think it's it's overall people are having a pretty good time. Um, it's uh, as as people have seen, like the the changes that have gone in since the demo. Um, I I hope that we can start to set that that expectation that we're going to continue supporting this game, and this is just the start. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of people who, who kind of came into the early access <clears throat> and honestly um, did a lot of good good freelancing, and we found out a lot of important issues from the early access time period, so we appreciate everyone kind of putting up with some of the things in early access which were actually fixed for day one. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's super good for us to see bugs out there found new ones that we can get onto the live service uh, patches but also equally cool for us to see things that have been already fixed in the patch that we can validate yeah okay you guys aren't going to see that in a couple days so it's it's kind of good all around for us to see this stuff and continue to be engaged with the players and continue to be engaged with what everyone is, is seeing yeah for sure so kind of on the patch that's a, it's a great segue um, we're actually going to deploy the patch here in a few hours so i right. think let's call it in four hours, just to be four, four to six hours ish, yeah. um, we're going to do it with zero downtime. Is the plan, um, and then we'll issue some comms uh, for people to log out of the game and, and get the new patch and go back in, get on the latest servers, so you can uh, keep playing. Um, we're excited to get that out kind of a day ahead of worldwide launch. Just make sure we stabilize everything, and then you know, like Mark said, on the twenty second of February at twelve oh one, like one a. 12.01 a.m., I guess, in the morning. As you hit midnight, uh, it will be available in different regions throughout the world in a, in a rolling uh, start. So that's pretty exciting. But on that, because we talked about, you know, we made lots of improvements from the demo, um, but, you know, there were still uh, some issues, I think, a, in, uh, in early access, some bugs that we've since fixed in the patch today. Um, do you guys have any, like, favorite fixes or, or, or things we've done that people can expect to see here shortly? So it, it's six gigs, roughly, right? The patch size. It's it's about that. So there's a so those of you who um, who have to care about how how large things are, it's six gigs. So be prepared for that. Um, my my one of my personal favorites um, 
obviously on some of the loader hardware, older hardware rather, older PC hardware, um, you're going to see increased um, load times in a variety of places. The place where I notice it the most is teleports and tethers in the open world, uh, kind of coming in and out of those small caves and stuff. You're going to see increased. Um, uh, or sorry, <laughs> you're not increased load time. Yeah. Like, what the hell are you saying? I wasn't. I wasn't going to correct you again there, Mike. <laughs> but yeah, so that load times are too short, guys. I'm playing, so, I'm so playing. what we're doing is we're making them longer. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, shorter load screens on on a number of places. Those places in particular in the open world, getting tethered to your party, you should see uh, a pretty big um, improvement. Uh, that's mine, and then I'm gonna go back to playing, and then um, saving, okay. saving Chad here. So, what about uh, Chad Robinson? What about you? Is there anything <clears throat> that you're especially ex excited about in the in the patch? <laughs> I mean, there, there's I, I think the thing I'm most excited about is just the breadth of it because we uh, there's a lot of changes in there that I think the players are gonna really enjoy. As we've talked about before, we even starting with um, the demo weekend, a lot of what ends up being in this patch and then our subsequent patches is coming from community feedback. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think there was a lot of feedback about the uh, Tomb of Legionnaires quest, and that's already been uh, addressed in some ways, and we've got some more things we're doing to address that uh, in the future. But hopefully anybody who was struggling with that um, that didn't have the, the right flag for that uh, quest chain can now continue it and enjoy the rest of that critical path of the, of the yeah. story. <clears throat> that's, a, that's a great one. For those who maybe uh, haven't played yet or whatever, um, uh, the change we made was the Tomb of Legionnaires is a series of challenges that you uh, unlock as part of the crit path. And <clears throat> they used to unlock after finding old friends, which was about level eight for lots of players. Um, but the feedback was, hey, these challenges take a little bit longer and are a bit more involved than players would have loved. <laughs> and so uh, what we did was change that prerequisite to be level three. So by the time you get to the quest step, you've had five levels of, of doing these challenges anyway. And a lot of the challenges are things like, you know, get weak point kills, use combos, get ultimate kills, that kind of stuff. Um, so the hope is that that kind of means when you get to that step, you still explore free play. We want you to discover how that works, do the world events and things like that, but it should take much less time. And of course, there's a bug fix in Aardvark, which, uh, sorry, in our worldwide <laughs> launch. Aardvark's what we call it, I guess that's, that's out there now. Um, but in our worldwide launch patch, the one today, where when you get chess, the group shares credit for them, whereas before you had to get it yourself. So, yeah. you to get a bit, a bit so, so just to be clear about that up. one, the, the range is 250 meters in, in game. So if someone in your party opens a chest and you're within 250 meters of that opening, then you will get credit for that chest. So you can't be on the other side of the map and, and, and get credit for it, but um, with, if you're within 250 meters, range, you get it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how about for you, Mark? Is there anything you wanted to call out? You know, uh, it, as as Chad said, it's a really it's it's a it's a, uh, a patch with a lot of things in it. Um, I I thought about talking about numbers, but I realized that most people don't actually have context into the number of bugs that are actually fixed in uh, in <laughs> most developers. So I'll steer away from any. Uh, um, I look so grumpy. Grumby. I look so grumpy. What the hell does grumpy mean, chat? Mark always looks grumpy, though. What does grumpy mean? It's a little bit of gumby plus grumpy. Gumby like, with a beard? Yeah, sorry. Is that, is that the grumpy? The chat is going... I am not a Twitch streamer, as you can tell by the chat going by here. I'm going to answer a question off the chat, though. People asked how people are playing the PS4 already. Yeah, those people have stolen copies of the PS4 build. That's how they're, they're playing. Or, or, I mean, let's take the most respectful interpretation. Maybe a retailer or two broke the street date, which which usually happens. Which is just as bad. Yes. Also but, go to jail. <laughs> um, I, right. like the, I like this four-person stream. The, the, the dynamics here are much more exciting than uh, just me and Ben alone. We'll have to do this on a recurring basis. I like that Chad's subtle way of saying, never leave me with Ben alone ever again. Uh, that's fine. Uh, well, hey, awkward. who's actually playing the Ranger right now? Is it you, Chad? Because you're doing great. Oh, here's the uh, chest. And look, credit for everyone. Uh, you're not thank really, you. Thank you, Mike. But it's fine. Go? I'm about, to, I'm, I'm about to hand it back to Jesse, though. Oh, it was Jesse. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. No, Chad, yeah. Chad was playing. Uh, he's yeah. giving it to Jesse. What, what difficulty are we on? Uh, Easy. Grandmaster 6. Grandmaster, Grandmaster six. 7. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. So we had Smash some... that like button. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I hope we... I, I, we probably don't have subscribe. But um, so there are a bunch of other fixes that, that went in. Uh, we've released the patch notes now, I think. So everyone yeah, in the did. community has access to them. You know, for me, some of my favorites, you know, I, I kind of came from the, the combat lens. So... 
I like the things you did to the Colossus with the shield. Uh, it'll come up a bit faster than it was before. You can also revive down javelins uh, with your shield up, which I think gives a lot more utility to the Colossus, which is cool. And uh, But the biggest one for me is uh, a bunch of the inscriptions uh, had bugs with them. So especially if you were above level 25, you weren't getting all of the power you were meant to from those inscriptions, especially kind of the ones that uh, impact like combat uh, damage, for example. Uh, so that is fixed. So I think, you know, we'll see a lot more theory crafting now and a lot more builds. And I'm super excited to kind of see how that meta plays out for the first few weeks of, of uh, what kind of group compositions and build compositions uh, people using to push some of the we, hardest. We actually had a question about related to that, didn't we? <laughs> Did we? What was it? About I don't know. All I can see coming to streams is that everyone loves me and wants me on the streams more. Yeah. No, I, I also a... wonder how much trouble I'll get in if I tell everyone to subscribe to T-Series. Oh, God. <laughs> how bad? <laughs> What's going to happen on the stream if I say that? <laughs> you did it now. I so. did. I totally did. What, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You won't be invited back. That's all. I'm just to... oh, yeah, I, there, I think you are. should just yeah, become the host now, Mark. You should Hi, just... Hi, chat. <laughs> What's our, what's our delay on chat right now, our text chat delay? Do we know? I don't no, know. Not any? It seems okay. pretty fast, because I said T-Series, <laughs> yeah. and they just went they went bananas. How can you, I don't even, we can't even read chat. Why does Edmonton yeah. get chat and we don't get chat here, no, Jesse? What is happening? Uh-oh, we're, we're, uh -oh, they're turning on we, me. We have a cypher. <laughs> they're, they're turning the on me. Oh, perfect. <laughs> hey, uh, that, all good things come to you, me. Which you may, may not know the specifics of, so <clears throat> sorry for, uh, for, for who? Uh, okay. So shields on scouts, do you know how we change those for the patch? Because I saw a patch note the other day, and I'm telling you, um, the scout shields is one of the biggest pains in the butt for me playing. So do you know that one, or should we follow? Uh, so I don't know the specific balance change. Um, we, I think we might have increased the shield, but then we're going to decrease it back to where it was. Ah, okay. I think if that's what you're talking about. But I can talk about shields in general and the best way to deal with them, because I think that's important. So one thing that isn't known by everyone is that lightning effects do 50% bonus damage to shielded targets, and frost attacks do 25% bonus damage to shielded targets. Now, I love talking all nerdy, as you know, but... Um, I think what happens sometimes is people use other abilities and it's frustrating or you use your weapons. Like the best thing to do is try to chain um, those things together on shielded targets like the scouts and the flyers, especially in harder difficulties. Uh, and then after you get the shield down, you can CC them, you can apply status effects, you can get combos. Um, so I think that's kind of the, the best thing to be doing. Cool. I'm going to do that now. Yeah, you're welcome. F free advice. Yeah, uh, for good friends. We should talk more um, often, though. Uh, yeah, this is really beneficial. <laughs> I literally talk to you every day, like yeah, five yeah. times a day. Yeah. <laughs> you are. <laughs> What's your name again? Hey Ben, how does Badger Devastation work? What's Badger Devastation? I don't know. Well, there's there's your answer. But we will was have that a chat question or a? It's a chat question. Uh, yeah, I, so I, you know what? We do have a question. One of my knowledge gaps is around uh, what the masterwork item names are. If that's what oh, yeah. that was, because. We rebranded everything at the last minute to be good names instead of our like made up names. Dev names uh, yeah. And so uh, I don't know too much about the masterworks in general, and especially uh, now that we change the names. <laughs> and we've been working a lot, so I haven't had a chance to play uh, and get to that part of the game yet, unfortunately. There were a bunch of people asking me on Twitter about. Um, I mean, this is this is a, a small thing, but it was important to a lot of folks. Uh, Xbox profile settings. So there was a there was a bug with the first um, early launch that you'd have to basically redo your settings every time you kind of came in because it wouldn't save it out. So that one got fixed. A lot of people didn't know that that had gotten fixed in this patch, so that that's all sorted out as well. So you won't have to set for those people who invert. Um, you won't have to reset that every single time. Um, you'll nice. be able to keep it. Okay, so that's we important. have a few. That's important for people who invert. Yeah. <laughs> Like Don't me. start me on these inverted players again. Yes. Yep. <laughs> um, so we have some questions from chat come through, and Jesse has uh, put them together for us. So question one, I think this might be a, a Chad Robertson question. Well, anyone can answer it, but yes. will Anthem support DLSS ever? The answer to that question is yes, soon. We actually have it. Um, that work has, uh, has already been completed, but you'll see it in an upcoming patch. Um, Not today's patch. Not today's patch, sorry, thank you. 
All right. Uh, Jesse, do you have another question you want to ask out loud for us? Sure. Uh, did we answer the SLI question? We have not yet. OK, well, the chat wants to know, will Anthem support uh, SLI? You cannot play and ask a question at the same time. That was ridiculous. You're flying in a straight line into a cliff. <laughs> See, now they're going to think like, me flying crashing off a into word stuff. Duck. <laughs> What's thanks, thanks, for all, thanks for all the help. Uh, you know, <laughs> Do you want to give me the controller? Yeah. Like, what? Okay. So, so the question was, what, uh, what's going it, on with SLI? Yeah, the answer, and the answer is yes. Uh, Anthem will support SLI. It's going to, uh, that update will be combined with the DLSS update. So you should see that soon. But again, not today, and not for, not for the Friday. Next question, Jesse. Yes, sir. Uh, Where are you, Mike? I'm, 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 there's lots of outlaw war on this Hey, there's a question of whether whether, whether we're going to have armor sets. We will have set. We are looking into set bonuses at a future time. Not today. Do they mean but, more uh, armor packs, though? I think that oh, was maybe. a question. I don't know. It's really um, hard to read this th this stream. I know AJ's going to turn around the monitor so I can't look at it anymore. No, no, yeah, that's, a, a, that's a good idea. See. If we could go ahead and do that, that would be great. No. Uh, hey, um, so yes, uh, Ben, to the question, the other question, Ooh. where uh, yeah. whenever we see some more armor, maybe you want to so, go in there. So um, we have an update a little later in the stream about how we're introducing some new vanity uh, into the game. Uh, so I want to talk about that. We did do a store refresh just today, which uh, puts new items on the storefront. I think, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, people were confused, and, and it's, it's on us, because we had uh, a 10-day timer on the storefront. Uh, but our plan is to refresh that every two to four days so that those of you earning lots of coin or if you want to spend some shards, uh, there's more stuff there for you to buy. And also a, a diverse range of suits. You know, there's only really two suits at a time. Uh, so that went up today. And then we have some more vanity stuff coming through a gameplay mechanic, and we'll talk about that a little later in the stream. Hey, so hey, Jesse, I, Jesse I has could... some amazing questions lined up. Let's, let's let him, and he's dying to read them as, as options as they come in. Let's... let's I have one. Let's, Oh, go ahead. Stat page, question mark, or stat page, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, depending on who is asking the question. Are At you least you can answer it so they can stop asking. Are you asking, asking yeah. real questions? I feel like, I feel like you're just asking your own questions at this point. Mark, that was my question. <laughs> that's, that's a question I think that we, we anticipated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to answer it, Chad? I think you know the answer. Um, yeah, we're planning on, we're, pl we're evaluating uh, some options for that. We had ideas for that uh, all along, and I think the input from the community has emphasized that that is a good thing we should do. Um, but I have, I have a question for the community. You don't like Excel? Come on, like what, what else do you need? Um, <laughs> yeah, why doesn't someone make their own mobile app where you can right. put all your stats in? Yeah, no, oh, but no, kidding, seriously, we, we do have, we have to, we're working on plans for that. So stay tuned, we'll, ha uh, we'll have some more news on that soon. So like people yeah. can stop typing into chat now. We should also <laughs> mention that, that, yes, the patch comes out um, very soon. I don't know if we said the specific time. I think we did. I was playing. I, I was said four to six hours from now. But we also have many patches in progress for the future. I mean, that's just how it works. Yes. Like, like sure, we're done with yeah. one, but the next one is 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 already in, midway in, in development, development right now. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> and we will talk about that next patch. It's it's a few weeks after today. Um, we'll talk about some two of the features that are in there in like five minutes. Well, do we have more questions, Jesse, or do you want to transition over to there? Where, how are you feeling? Yeah, we've got a lot more questions that we can go through, um, try to burn through some of these before we, we head on. But um, are there any plans for providing options when you're downed? So we've uh, talked a bunch about, um, you know, we've seen some feedback that when people go down, they're like, hey, no one noticed I was down. Um, so we don't have anything in the short term for that, um, but we are looking into the issue and we have some ideas about it. Um, <clears throat> even even things like, hey, when you're down, like, can it just have a audio line that's like, hey, I'm down, friends, get me up, or whatever. Um, but we don't have that in the next couple of weeks, but, but we're looking into it. Yeah. But, but there's some long ter longer term stuff as well that we, we're looking at, um, because we've gotten the feedback that, you know, when you're down, uh, if no one reses me, it can be kind of boring. Um, what what can I do in the meantime? So there's a longer term discussion as well about some yeah. other stuff. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Uh, next question. Are there? Let's go north, Mike. Hey, what do you think? Are there yeah, any sure. more plans for support or ultimate items outside of what's already in the game? 
So ultimate items are gonna be like a longer term thing. Uh, you know, they're the most uh, kind of impactful abilities that we made. So you can imagine they take a little longer to build. We like the idea of doing it, but that's kind of a longer term thing. I think on the support side, so like your uh, left and right bumper, like for me, that, that guy, um, we'd like to do some in the short term, not in the next couple of weeks, but probably uh, soonish after that, we'd like to add some more. It, we're talking about it right now, so, you know, timing, whatever, to be TBD, what they are, and all that kind of stuff, but uh, that, that's the idea. So, someone asked about um, the, a ping system like uh, Apex has. I really like their system. I think it's actually quite clever having contextual um, chat. Um, we obviously don't have it right now, uh, and I don't know how portable what uh, what respawn is made would be. Um, we have to take Not a look. Very. We, we did ask, Pro but yeah. You did ask? Yeah. Not very, yeah, uh, uh, but I would love to take a look at it. I mean, one problem will be on the console controls. I don't think we have a button, so that might be a bit of a challenge, but I actually do yeah. think it's uh, quite... We, we have, it, it's a great point, because we have been looking into a, an alternate to that, like, um, you know, if you want to communicate with your team, which is really what that's all about, like, how do you communicate with them? And so we've talked about some other ways that we think we could leverage the existing control scheme, I don't know if I want to share all the details now. You don't have to share those details right now, Ben. Yeah, but maybe um, now. <laughs> no, that's maybe fine. now. But uh, yeah, I think in in a few more weeks here we can talk a bit about that. Um, we have to see if we can do it. You know, there's a few catches to it all, as always. Ooh, that was a but tough yeah, fight. It's it's good feedback. I have a question. Oh. <laughs> Who, who came oh, up with the... See this? Yeah, I did see that. Nice. Hello. Well done. Got a mouse to work. No big deal. Yep. C carry on. Uh, who came up with the uh, the Nighthawk and Dragon bit initially? <laughs> Probably Ben. Probably Ben. Does that mean you... Was that, are you an original fan happened, of that movie? Or like, how did that... How no, did I think that what happened is like... Mike and I were casually flirting with each other on Twitter, as we like to, as we like to do. Um, and, uh, Twitter. And I think you were making fun of me about something. I can't remember. And then I just went to GIFs and put in brothers. And then the stepbrothers thing came up from the movie. And I was like, oh, that's so funny. Oh, good. And so I posted that. And then I think we both just kept posting those things. And then we decided on the first stream we did, it'd be funny if we called ourselves Dragon and Nighthawk, which is what they call themselves right. uh, in the movie Step Brothers. So. Yep. Yeah. One of Ben's top 10 movies of all time. Yes. <laughs> it's a cinematic classic. A cinematic a cinematic classic. classic. It's in the Criterion Collection. Uh, oh, we're gonna... What else we got, Jesse? Any, Let's uh, keep any going other... north, eh? Yeah, so we, we got a couple more, and then we can go into our next segment. But um, So how much additional lore can uh, players expect with upcoming content? You want me to grab that one? Sure. Yeah, so I, I think that's a deeper question into what we're planning on doing with the live service. And while we don't have a ton of details we can share on that yet, we do have lots of internal plans. Um, Ooh, world event, uh, Mike. Yeah, I think the, the main answer is that if you look at what we want to do narratively with the game for the next several years, you'll see this overarching story that includes tons of lore that we want to include to continue to evolve Anthem's world and the characters and the, everything that goes with it. So you can expect some big updates there. Um, and I, I think you'll be uh, pleasantly, anybody who's asking that question will be pleasantly surprised to know that um, we've got a lot of cool things we think are coming there. Yeah. Wow, that is the that is the 1,000 word answer to yes. Yeah. You know what, though? <laughs> so uh, I think something that a lot of people don't know about Anthem is the way that the systems are built, the, f the way that the framework is set up, is it makes it fairly fairly easy for us to add new different types of content. So I, I get this question a lot on Twitter. Um, okay, so we want to we wanna do different gameplay mechanics. So yeah, we've done Wisps enough times. We want to do something different. The way that the Anthem system is built is that all we have to do is put that new kind of gameplay thing into the, the, the toolbox and then you'll start to see those things represented in world events um, as you kind of even go through all the, the launch content. So we have a really strong framework for how to add more lore, more gameplay. It's just a matter of us doing it over the months and years to head, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So there's, there's a question about text chad. I don't know what, like, as opposed to 3D, 3D model chad, I guess. So does anyone want to talk about text chad? Chad? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what the text I, version. I haven't of seen Chad this question. Like... Is it is it is it more detailed than that, or is that the extent text of it? Text Chad, Chad. Oh, that one said text chat. Uh, uh, but text uh, chat is an interesting a, concept. Yes. Yeah. 
I, 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 yeah, anytime you can use thousand words when one would suffice, you know, I'll, I'll pull that off, right? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the question is, but I um, think they're saying, I, "What about text chat in the game?" Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. Again, lost it. in the riddles here. Lost in the riddles. Uh, now I'll defer to you on that one, Ben. You've answered that one before. Yeah, I've seen. You know, I mean, we don't have text chat. Um, we are looking at um, some accessibility stuff. Uh, so we should. Uh, kind of get clear in that message, so I don't want to kind of butcher it now by mistake. So we can we can kind of talk about that a little bit later. Um, but like I said before, with the ping system question, like I think really a lot of the question is if I don't want to use VoIP, how can I better communicate with my squad mates? And Correct. that's kind of the thing that we're looking at. Right. And that's the thing that I talked about before that I don't have all the details on yet. Uh, but in a in a few weeks here, you know, we can talk about it uh, or just give an update. You know. Uh, I'm not sure when or if or whatever we can do it, but we're definitely talking about it because we think it's an important piece of feedback we've heard from the community. Yeah, so I think to 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 reiterate, it's this is re this question and the ping question is really more about giving me a way to communicate what's going on, explain to someone how the puzzle works, things like that, without using voice. Yeah, um, right. Whether that's text chat or something else, um, uh, there's there, more details will come at a later date. Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a good quality of life thing that if you guys are watching Ben's screen, um, that came out in the new that will come out in the new patch. If you look at the compass, if there's a creature who's behind you, um, kind of there's going to be an arrow at the edge of the screen, kind of telling you that there is someone behind you. That wasn't in the early access build. You guys should be able to see it on on Ben's screen when when you, <laughs> when you of, inevitably find there's one. Yeah, yeah when no. we stop forwardly destroying everyone as the dream team. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, um, so how are we for time? Oh wow, it's already 27 past. Well, why don't we transition into some future stuff? Uh, I think I'll need uh, more than 20% of my brain again, so I might hand the controller to someone else because uh, apparently I can't talk very well. Hey, um, while we're <coughs> while we're getting set up, uh, um, we've talked about crossplay not being available at launch. Um, we're still give at this point. Nothing to add at this point other than that we absolutely are looking into it. Yeah, yeah. So stop asking, chat. <laughs> yeah. well, we want to do it. It's, it's cool. Yeah, we we do want to do it. it. We yeah. do want to do it. Um, there's no. There's nothing inherent in the game itself from a technical perspective stopping us from doing it. Uh, there's just some, some uh, service stuff that needs to be lock, uh, uh, um, worked out, and we obviously have to get... Um, the 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 console manufacturers on board. Yeah, I'm also the best ever. It said right there. I said I was the best ever. But no, <laughs> it went up really quick. So no, but I saw. I know it says you're the worst ever there too. It said Mark is a. Ch Never mind. I'm not going to read that. Out. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Um, great okay. segue, guys, into uh, what's coming next. So <clears throat> there are a couple of things we're going to talk about uh, as these guys play the game. Um, that. Uh, I mainly are based on, on player feedback, but also some ideas we had in the works. And so this isn't for the patch today, but uh, we're hoping to get these in, or our goal is to get this in for, for the patch after, which will be a few weeks after today's patch. Um, but the first is talking about uh, stronghold vanity chests. So what does that mean? Um, so kind of to set up the context, uh, there's been some feedback of, hey, like I want to uh, personalize my javelins a bit more um, but I'd like to have, uh, you know, some part of my look that's available through uh, kind of playing the game or doing something in the game that maybe not everyone can do. <clears throat> and so uh, we're like, oh, that's really good feedback. Um, we were also at the same time aware of, of some issues with, uh, you know, making strongholds be really rewarding. Like they're quite a, a long time investment. And like, yes, you get great loot from them, but um, people wanted to be able to show off some of the things that they were getting. And so the idea that we're going to put into the game is called Stronghold Vanity Chest. So the idea is that uh, we'll have like uh, 100 items that are, are vanity driven or personalization as we often talk about them. Um, and as you finish a stronghold, at the end there'll be uh, four chests available. Uh, and the idea is that uh, you earn keys. And so you can earn a key by doing like a daily challenge, for example. So you can every day earn one key. Uh, go into a stronghold, you know, get, get the key by doing a daily challenge. Um, uh, at least that's how we'll make them available uh, when we launch the feature. 
Uh, and then you do the stronghold at the end, you open a chest and you get some vanity. But the kicker is, if your squad mates have a key, uh, they can also open the chests and you get each other's loot. So I open a chest, my whole party gets that loot. Chad opens a chest, nice. then we all get that loot again. Then Mark opens his chest, we all get the loot, and Mike opens his chest. So you were kind of incentivizing some social uh, organizing here because, yeah, win for everyone. you know, ideally you like be like, hey, I want to find some friends who all have keys, let's do it together. Um, the chests will be random exhaustive. So if you don't know what that word means, or that phrase means, the idea is that there are a hundred items and you will get them all after a hundred times. I say a hundred. It's not a literal 100. I think it's very close to 100, maybe a bit more or a bit less. Um, but as you do it that many times, that's how long it will take to kind of get everything in the list. Uh, and then we'll review that list. We might add more things over time or like do a whole new set of, of anything to the chest over time. Um, but that's kind of that system. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. It, it rewards you for, for playing the game, um, which we think um, is cool. Does that seem clear? Do you guys have questions, or does chat have questions? Uh, he, so, question for these uh, for these chests: Will there what will I get a duplicate? Uh, so, will I get a duplicate? I think we might have just silenced Edmonton for a second. Uh, will we get a duplicate item? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, you will not. So, well, there are like a hundred items. You get them all. Uh, some of those items. So, so the majority of them are oral vanity, and we'll actually show some examples. I forgot we had some. I will show them. But you can also get other things like crafting materials or ember. So it's possible we put like five ember in there. You know what I mean? So you can get the ember five times. Uh, but of right. the vanity specific things, no, you, you get just one copy of all of them and then it's unlocked uh, forever. Um, so good point, because I forgot we have examples. Let's show some yeah. examples. These are some of the, the, the cool things that you can see in the vanity chest. So uh, you can see, you know, we have a mixture of uh, vinyls, uh, all different kind of uh, quality rarities of vinyls. Um, you see some of them here. Uh, we have some... <laughs> so I can hear them. Can the stream not hear? Okay, okay, that's fine. So you're all missing out on Mark's humor. Let me just tell you what's funny. <laughs> um, God, they mute us, man. And uh, so next, we, we also have some emotes. I don't know if they're queued up next uh, or if we can go to them. Um, so these are some of the emotes that are available uh, in these stronghold vanity chests. Once we get it up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can look... Oh, they can't hear you right now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not repeating that question. Excellent. Um, but here are some of the... So again, remember in the game there are three types of animations. You have the victory pose, the landing animation, uh, and emotes. And so there's a mixture of all of them. These are some of the ones you can earn, again, just by, by earning a key and then playing through the stronghold uh, here in a few weeks when we launch this update. Um, pretty cool stuff. There's some epic quality stuff in there, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that was the first one. Does, are there questions? I don't know, Jesse or I guess Mark and Mike can see chat if there are any questions on that. Yeah, because Mike is cut. Yeah, I know. So so your mic's back this is now. thing now. We can't talk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mike's back now. When when the game is up, we can we can. Hear well, I can't see what's up, yeah. so I don't know. If they're cutting oh, really? my mic because they I, I they're trying to silence me, but I refuse to be silenced. But they're saying that Mike got shut down, and I can't tell if it's Mike me or Mike the mic. So <laughs> uh, let's just pretend it's the microphone. They're not reacting to my amazingness anymore. So either they've wandered away from me. And I've lost control of my, my mob, <laughs> or they've cut my mic again. Uh, boy, okay. yeah, there's a, there's a lot of questions, but it's just hard to see because they're going It's really going quick. even faster than before. <laughs> oh, All right, oh, well, how oh. about... Um, okay. Is Mike hot? Yes. Yes. Um, okay, what about... So, the primary way that you get keys is from grinding strongholds. Um, no. Are there any other ways to get keys so at this the, point? The primary way to get keys is to do like the daily challenge. Like ah. we, will, we will set an objective on a given day that rewards the key. So the idea is you log into the game, that should be the first thing you do, right? You go and get your key for the day, and then you use that to complete a stronghold and get great loot and also get cool vanity. Right. Yep. So challenges, gotcha. <laughs> yep, it'll be like the daily challenge. That's at least what we'll start with, and of course we'll see what works and doesn't work, and if we have to make adjustments, we can make some adjustments. Okay, so 
If there's any more questions, let's roll them up, but let's do the next topic. Um, I think I know what it is, but can we scroll down just to make sure? Oh yeah, so in that same patch, we're gonna do the uh, Stronghold Vanity Chess. Uh, one piece of feedback we heard, we've heard in this first week has been, hey, like, um, you have all this amazing content through the Crypt Path and the Agent missions, but I can't replay it. Is there a way to replay it? Uh, and so there are a bunch of, look at you doing a flag ultimate. Um, there are a bunch <laughs> of different ways you can solve that problem. The thing that we wanted to do was um, to reintroduce the Crypt Path missions as end game activities. So we're calling them legendary missions. And so what our plan is, is to do uh, a couple uh, in, in a few weeks from now, uh, see if the community likes them, see if you guys enjoy uh, playing them. Uh, and if that seems to be something that, that is worth doing, then we'll go and, and convert uh, all the crit path over to these legendary missions. So what that means is, like what is a legendary mission? What makes it legendary? Um, you know, one of the first missions in the game is called Lost Arcanist. It's probably the one that we'll do first. Um, but it's early in the game. So early in the game, uh, we use, you know, this is some internal terminology, but we use mainly easy encounter types. So you don't fight the full range of, say, the Scar that you encounter in Lost Arcanist. Um, you don't have many Scar heavies. It's a lot of footmen. It's designed to be easy as you're learning the game. The legendary mission version will put in what we call extreme encounters, which is like harder combinations, more creatures, um, and then we'll balance them for max level. Right. So the idea is you can play the crit path, uh, but balanced at max level, level 30. Uh, Difficulty-wise, we'll see how it plays out. We're thinking that um, kind of the progression is, you know, from easiest to hardest content is free play, contracts, legendary contracts, then legendary missions, then uh, <laughs> strongholds. Uh, and so that's based on like time investment, but on also how hard we think it is. And then of course they'll have the six difficulty levels, uh, easy, medium, hard, grandmaster one, two, and three. Uh, and we're working out the specifics that the rewards will give you, but um, you know, we hope about, this is just a fun thing to do. Yeah, and, yeah the, the, before we could ask questions about it, the way that uh, the story will work relative to that. Yeah, so and stuff. that's a great point. So the point of this is to let you replay the mission itself. And so um, lots of the uh, Fort Tarsus stuff uh, won't be part of this. Uh, if you want to just naturally replay the whole crit path, you just make a new pilot and you could replay it that way. Yeah. Um, so actually, that's a really a good point, Ben. Um, yeah, so but... re replaying the crit path is something that we get asked a lot. You can do that by making a new pilot. And there's a lot of stuff that are tied to the player account and not necessarily tied to the player pilot. So yep. we, we look at, at new pilots kind of like a new game plus in that you're still going to have a lot of the stuff that you have from your, your previous playthrough to be able to use on, your, on your, new, your new pilot. So for sure, I know that vanity stuff that you've unlocked on your previous playthrough yeah, you keep all that. ties over, and there's yeah. a lot of that. So all four suit unlocks. Yeah, the four suit unlocks. So if people want to play through the crit path again, like for example, maybe they had a bug with a cutscene um, in the early access week, and now that the patch is out, they won't get that again. People can play through the entire thing again, a lot more bug free now, and and carry over a lot of their, their progress to that new pilot as well. Yep. Uh, do, we, uh, do we see any questions on that in chat? Uh, Jesse or Mark, who's now the professional chat viewer? Um, no, I don't think so. <laughs> They've okay. moved on. All right, so, uh, but they're, they're two but cool features that will come in our patch again. Tiny. This is a this is a soon oh, cool. all of this stuff you're talking about Ben right now is is in a a soon to come patch. Yes. A soon to come patch yeah, a few weeks from now once we you know firm up all those dates we'll announce it publicly and all that kind of stuff. And again the goal is for these to go in there. You know we're we're doing all the work right now. Uh, we have to make sure we get it done and, and tested so that it's a, a high level of quality. Uh, again, we've been so transparent on this campaign. We want to share stuff with you all early, which is a great segue. Um, because Chad had a topic, we, you know, is, we it, about, to is it about accounting laws? Because <laughs> I feel like this is a great segue to accounting laws. I, I feel so. So before we move on, everyone on the chat is asking to have Tomb of the Legionnaires be our first legendary mission. Um, so I don't know. Maybe just pass that on. You guys can, uh, can figure out. If oh, you want to use that it. was the next bullet point. So <laughs> so we've we've redone that. Uh, it's at GM three only. Uh, so it's going to be a great experience. Yeah. 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 Um, Sorry, okay, real segue. So time. the actual segue of being transparent, um, uh, Chad, like, 
we shared a little bit about a patch yeah, that's okay. coming in a few weeks, but people want to know, you know, and we've shared the, the kind of the year calendar with three acts, and act one has these three themes. Right. Um, but people want more and more specifics. Uh, what's kind of our plan? That's a lot for of build-up to a, to a potentially just another tease, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, we, we've, true. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're, we're, we've got a, a, a more detailed 90-day calendar that we'll be sharing very soon. We're hoping, um, we're hoping it'll go out in the next week. Uh, but in that, you'll see kind of the balance of content um, in a little bit more detail than we talked about last week, specifically things like uh, insight into how we plan to uh, stage what we call events in the game, balanced with all the things that we'll do for quality of life fixes, and then ultimately additions of content like strongholds, and lastly leading up to our cataclysm, which we talked about uh, last week when we showed the act calendar. So you can look forward to seeing a little bit more detail, I'll say, within the next week, we hope. Um, and I'll let Mark answer the Revrec question because everybody's dying to know what that means now, right? <laughs> yeah, so, hey, you're so not really gonna, accounting gonna... laws with oh, public no. companies oh, are no. a thing that prevent us from talking about certain things. And AJ is making a slashing uh, motion <laughs> on his neck. But suffice I'm so to glad say Mark joined is us. This is that perfect. if it was entirely up to us, we would provide more detail than we are currently providing. But it's not, and there are... are government organizations like the SEC that determine um, what we can say. Yeah, and all that being said though, we, we'll still be able to share a lot. <laughs> yeah, so well, our intention is always to share as much it. as we can, um, yeah. for sure. And part of that is about, we want to make sure that we've got confidence in our development schedule before we share something that we can't ensure we're going to deliver on the time that we say. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. there's the aspects of it, just like Mark was saying, where um, there are some complications from uh, a public company standpoint where we have to be careful but about how much we announce far, too far in advance. Our, our goal is to share as much as we can as quickly as we can, and we are continuously working into making sure that we can uh, provide more as quickly as possible. Absolutely. Yeah. I will also do things, you know, like uh, the, the legendary missions I talked about. Like, we want to, you know, try some things out, see if we can get them to you early. If players like it, then we do more. Like, you know, we're going to start with only maybe three missions, two or three missions for the legendary missions, and and they'll probably be the first three of the game, starting with Lost Arcanus. We'll, we'll see how that all plays out. Yeah. Uh, and then if you all like them, and it's like, yeah, that was a really fun experience. It was a great way to replay, you know, these environments as part of the game that, that I really love playing. Then we can do more. And if universally people are like, oh, I don't think these are great, then then we can not do yeah, more. We'll tweak it. And There's lots of kind of flexibility sure. there. And um, you know, th that's that's the content additions. We're also working on just tons of quality of life improvements mm -hmm. that keep yep. on going. Like, you know, we, we, we see the feedback, we're processing the feedback. We've seen everything from why is my CPU um, high on PC, and we look at stuff like that, to, you know, why am I loading in later relative to my friends, and then I have a couple load screens. Like, we see all of that stuff. Um, it's just a matter of kind of figuring out what the root causes are um, and kind of nipping them and then putting them out in patches. So there's a quality of life stuff, too, that, that people should know we're working on. Hey, Sporkman wants to know if I'm running for president in 2020. Yes. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I am not a naturalized American citizen, uh, so I do not qualify to run for president. <laughs> Yeah, we're hitting the most important topics in this live stream. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. right. Sure. The, the tough AJ wrote it in the thing right talk. there. <laughs> right? He wrote it right there. Yeah. All right, Sporkman, you got your All question right. answered. I feel so. like Sporkman is a, like, I need an explanation. I know, never mind. No, Sport, no, I'm no. moving on. So, yeah. Jesse, if you can keep going through that tunnel, because it's like a cool outro tunnel, um, we are going to wrap it up. So, a couple of things. Um, first of all, uh, uh, it's great to have the stream team, dream team together. Yeah. If you haven't seen my Twitter post, do we have t-shirts made for that yet? Post in history time. What's that? Do we have t-shirts made for that yet? No, but apparently we have a live from Bioware t-shirt yeah. that only one person was that allowed Chad to wear. Has. He made stream. it. As, he's got a screen, silk screening at home <laughs> in his basement. Yeah, in his basement. It's so actually, I, I actually just did it with a sharpie. It looked really, it looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but good times. Uh, reminder: the patch. Uh, the big patch we've been talking about on the 22nd, we got ready early, so that will be going live. It's now 3.45 central time. It will go live in a few hours from now. I said yeah. four to six earlier yeah. to give us some window. Hopefully it's a little bit before then. Man, I was getting nervous. Uh, I thought we'll you were going to say a specific time. We'll, and, we'll, and to be no, clear, no, we would tell you a specific time, but we uh, we have our partners need some yeah. time. This, uh, first party this one isn't the right SEC one. This is, this is literally our ability to coordinate it to a minute yeah. is somewhat suspect. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are making my outro super, super long. <laughs>
The yeah, tunnel, we're just going to keep going. <laughs> the tunnel yeah, he did three trips in the tunnel. Good times have to come to an end. My phone is buzzing at me. Someone <laughs> yeah, wants my attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You couldn't have possibly said anything yeah. <laughs> that would cause your phone to ring today. Yeah. Um, okay, so the patch goes live soon. Patch notes are up. Our community team will message it when it actually goes live, uh, and it will be up on our website. Um, otherwise, uh, thank you all f who, who played as part of Early Access. Uh, we learned a lot. We think there's a lot, of, a lot of fun that was had and some things that we can work on in the future, and we look forward to getting this patch out and then having worldwide access here in, in uh, a day or so, yeah, I guess. Right it's, it's Friday. It's yeah, in on like, PlayStation all yeah. weekend. Isn't it like in 13 hours? Well, again, yes. It's, I, I like to say Friday just so everybody's uh, yeah. confident of that date. But, but I yes, think based like on in, worldwide rollout, in New it's, Zealand, it's yeah. like Friday in like 13 <laughs> like, hours. Okay. Yeah, because time zones are hard. <laughs> time zones as are I hard. Proved, yeah. As I proved yeah. last week. Someone, someone, we, could tell, we could tell you the central times for it, but it would just confuse everybody. Yeah. So. Chat thinks I'm yeah. weird looking, yeah, you which, are, is, but, which is true. But they also want you to be in charge. Little do they know. I am in charge. <laughs> in charge. I am actually in charge. <laughs> the only reason Chad Why do you think us? I get to talk about this like this? <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. All right. Um, I was going to say if anyone has anything else to say, but I think we've we've covered all of that. So uh, thank you guys uh, and uh, for to all of our fans for coming to watch the stream. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in game soon. Absolutely. And that's it for us. See you in PlayStation yeah. this week. Yeah. Take care, everybody. See, See you in game. Bye. Bye.